In this video, we're going to take a look at linking to an external website from your school wires page. I'm logged into my profile right now, and you can see that I have three pages currently an about page, a resources page, and a teacher calendar page. What I want to do is add an additional page here that is simply just a link out to an external website. And I want to show you how to do that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new page here, and we're going to give this a page name. I'm just going to call it external website. I will call it external class website. You can pick any name that you want. And then we're going to create a page type and we're just going to select blank page for this since we don't actually want any content or apps on this page. Blank page is most appropriate. I'm going to save and exit from that now. And you'll see that we've added a new page over here, external class website, but there's no content on that page. What we're going to do now is we're going to link this to a page that I already have set up. This is the perfect tool to utilize if you have an external class website that you've been maintaining for years. Maybe you built something in Google Sites or Blogger or Weebly or any of those other free platforms that uh, exist. So I'm going to navigate over here to a page that I've set up in Google Sites. And I'm just going to copy this URL up here at the top. This is the, uh, the page and the address that I'd like it to link to. Now we're going to head back to our site manager uh, view over here, and I'm going to go to the actions button. Inside actions, there is an area called page options, and that's what you want to select. Inside page options, you'll see there's a little field down here where you can map this page to a web address. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead now and paste the URL of the page that I'd like to link to. And I'm going to press the save button in just a second. Before I do so, I want to point out that right now the icon for this page is just a blank piece of paper. After I press save, you'll note that it updates now to this blue arrow, which denotes that it's mapped to an external web page. So whenever you see that, you know that you've successfully mapped it elsewhere. So that's how we can create a link now that'll take us to an external class website. I want to do the same thing one more time, and this time what we're going to do is we're going to link instead of to a separate class website, we're going to create a link out to a Google Classroom page that I have set up for my students. So again, same routine, new page, we'll type in Google Classroom. Again, we're going to select this as a blank page type, save and exit, and here now we have Google Classroom once again. I'm going to navigate over here to the Google Classroom that I've set up and have been using with my students. Here's my period one website. I'm going to copy this entire URL once again. Now we will navigate back over here to Site Manager in School Wires. We'll head over to Page Options. We'll paste in the URL that we'd like to link it to. Once I press save, I now have links to both of those. And if you'd like to then go in and organize your pages differently, you can use the Organize Pages button right here. Maybe we want to drag this one up here. Drag it up here. Maybe we want to move Google Classroom up here as well. Uh, maybe I don't even want to use the teacher calendar or the resources area. I could go in and delete those pages. And then on my School Wires profile, I could just have my About Me page and then a link to our external class website and a link to our Google Classroom, as well as links to any other pages that you might want your students to use uh, regularly. I'm going to go ahead and save this, and we'll now go preview what this page is going to look like. Again, I go up here to the View Website button in this gray toolbar at the top. Once we launch that, it'll take me over here to my page. You can see my About section is all filled out. And now over here, we have two new pages linked on this side, External Class Website. And if I click that, it'll redirect us straight to the Google Sites page that we have set up. And so we know that that's working correctly. Um, if I go into View Website one more time and navigate over here to Google Classroom, that should redirect us to our Google Classroom page, and it does. So that takes us straight out to an external website.